Okay, good day, everyone. Good day. Let me see if I can. I didn't feel like putting my hair down. But today we're going to be doing reading on Jamie Foxx to see how he's recovering, what's going on with his health, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Right? Uh, I have not taken this out. Oh, yeah. I mean, I just feel like I need to let it breathe. All right. So I just want to know. I remember I had to take a break from his reading. I did like maybe three or four. Uh, you got to understand when y'all first do get your head done with the braids and you lose it. Oh, you got to massage that thing. So I remember they said he had a business partner. I can't remember the name of the business partner. I'm going to look it up to see what, what his name is. But he's another actor, I believe. I think I've seen him before somewhere in a, in a movie. Uh, I needed to let it loose. Let it loose, let it loose, let it loose. Maybe that's how he feels. Maybe he feels maybe his head. I felt like I needed to loosen it up a little bit. Uh, just for you guys, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. I feel free. Okay. <laughs> I don't like putting it out. But anyway, so. Hey, hey, hey. Go to your brother. Go to Tyler. So immediately, um, something with the head is going on, though. Uh, maybe his equilibrium is a little off, or walking or standing up for too long is a little off. So I feel like a lot of my prediction happened already, or the things I predict already took place. People don't tell, you know, some people don't confirm to me if it happened or it didn't happen. Um, but that's what I'm sensing from my energy. That's a lot of the things I said happened. Um, I think I talked about, I keep remembering me saying, Jamie is not going to be the same like you know him. I think I said that. It, that kept coming to me over and over again. Like he's, so something could be going on with his legs. Um, I kind of felt when I woke up today, when I was sleeping, I felt some type of numbness to my leg. Um, so something could be going on with his leg. Maybe he's going through therapy or physical therapy or something with physical therapy. So he could be doing physical therapy. Um, he could be doing speech therapy. I think I also said that too. Um, but his daughter kept coming up to something with his daughter kept coming up. I feel like his daughter could be getting crucified. I don't know what she did that she's getting crucified for. Maybe she lied about something or there was like a exaggeration, um, a lie or, hmm, we're going to see when I pull out the cards. But so far, what I'm kind of getting is energy is like just trying to get better. Um, I feel like Jamie was supposed to die, allegedly. Eric Bishop was supposed to die. Um, hold on. But the surprise element to that is that he he's alive. Um, and I think, I, I don't know why, my, you know, they're making me bring this up about some type of... Um, I think I'm, I could have said this. You guys correct me if I did or not. Hey, everybody. Hey, Odeon. Hey, Marie. Welcome. Hey, Kim. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, Lady Wynn. Who else is here in the chat? Yasha. Yasha? Is that how you say your name? Galene. Hello, my dear. Hello, Ajira. Sean Williams. Welcome. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Cindy Goldbrand 888. Yeah. Give me that name. Give me. Go to Tyler. All right. Um, I could have said something about he could have been poisoned. I could have said something about something he drank, could have included something in it. I could have said something about him being poked um, with a needle. 
So something about our needle is coming back up. So I don't know what about a needle is coming back up. Um, he could have refused some type of treatment or refused something here. And in order for him to, I keep getting like finish a movie or do a movie or something like that. I feel like different jurisdictions have different laws to abide by. And I feel like he was pressured into doing something that he was not supposed to do. Uh, maybe it was something concerning his health here. Um, maybe he took, um, God help us. Maybe he took a poke. Somebody told me to say poke, okay, or jab. But you guys know when I say poke and jab, that and something with 19 on it that um, could have implemented his sickness or could have accelerated something to happen to him, if you get my drift. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you get my drift. So wherever he was at, the jurisdiction that he was at, suggested that he took this job, even though his first instinct was no, okay? And he was forced, if you don't take this, if you don't do this, you will not be able to shoot, you will not be able to do this, or you're not, you're not gonna be able to finish your, whatever it is he was doing, maybe he was filming, I think it was filming at that time, yeah. You will not be able to continue your filming, you will not be able to complete it. Go to your brother. Go to Tyler, give me this. Hold on one second. Okay, you will not be able to continue this. Um, and go to Tyler. And if you don't follow these rules and regulation, then you're gonna have to leave. And I feel like he was first forced and pressured to take this job. And this job caused complications. I don't know why I'm getting like blood, something with blood to his brain, um, blood clots, blood clot. So part of this job that he took could have caused a blood clot. It could have caused some type of blockage from oxygen going into his brain. I'm kind of getting something with oxygen going into his brain and heart. I think I talked about that too with his mind, his head, his heart. Go check out the other videos I did. Then you can come back. If you haven't watched the other videos of Jimmy Fox that I did, go watch it and then come back to this. Hey, Oga, get out of there, please. Thank you. Go to Tyler. Tyler. Um, so, you know, it, it could have felt like stroke. Um, but they're not really telling people everything that's going on. I feel like, um, something with his speech. I feel like I'm talking funny or I sound funny or... I'm speaking, but it's like my brain and my tongue is not allowing me to cohesively, they're not cooperating. I feel like something is wrong here. Um, go, go, go to Tyler, get your tablet, go to Tyler. Something is not corresponding here well enough. I'm trying my best, but it's like I'm lost in the sauce or I'm lost. Trying to find my way back. Trying to find my way back, way back to you, baby. So I don't know. I'm getting like how Howie. Who's Who's Howie? Um, Katie. I don't know, man. I heard Katie Holmes, Barbados. Um, and then Stephen. Somebody with a name that start with a D is involved. Somebody with a name that start with a D is involved. Maybe not intentionally, but it's involved. I also feel like something is going on with his business partners. The people he, he have business, whoever this business partner is, a business partnership. It, it's, hey, go to Tyler. Give me one second, guys. Let me mute this for a second.
back, baby, to you, baby. Who's his business partner? So whoever is connected with when it comes to business partners, um, something is suspicious about these people. Whoever his business partner is connected to is suspicious. I feel like somebody wants to get rich or die hard trying. That's kind of like what I'm getting here. So maybe this partner loves money or um, I feel like Jamie likes things to happen fast. So that's a Sagittarius energy too that I'm kind of getting. Um, there, there could have been disagreement with him and his partner as well here. What's that guy's name? Hold on. Y'all know the name of his partner? Um, somebody. Somebody. Anybody. Girl, he was doing too much. I had to send him away. The 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 it's a it's a I keep seeing the bald head guy with the suit on. The bald head guy with the suit on. He dated a famous person radio personnel. Wait. Claudia. Whoever this guy is dated Claudia. I was with was with Claudia. 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 Y'all know what I'm talking about now? Whoever that guy is connected to, there's something fishy about the connections he has. Um, okay, there's something going on with that. Partnerships. Um, Jamie could have had other endorsements. He could have had endorsement with companies. Um, he could have had endorsement with his daughter. Um, he could have had business um, contractual agreement with his daughter in some projects here. And um, the, when I say his daughter, there's a sense of worry. There's a sense of worry and panic or anxiety and being careful with what I say to, to the public. Also, something about pickleball, pickleball. All right, so being careful about what I say to the public and um, if is my father going to make it? Is my father gonna get back to himself? Is my father, what's going on with my dad? There's some type of sadness here. Almost like feeling like I've, I've mourned my dad, but he's still physically here, but it felt like I mourned him or I was, I was in grieving or I was mourning him. Hmm, that's interesting, isn't it? Um, Claudia Jordan, thank you so much. Isn't she a radio personnel or TV personnel? Something like that. She's one of those. Um, yeah, that guy that was connected. Is, is, his name starts with a D or something? Let me look for him. I'm going to know exactly what I'm talking about once I, once I look for his name. Hold on. Hold on. Jimmy Fox, partner. Partner, partner, business partner. Damn, you got a couple of them. Hold on. Um, Datari, 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 yeah, yeah, Datari, or whatever his name is. I think, hold on, I don't know if y'all can see. That Tari Turner, I think that's his name. Say his name start with a D. That's who I'm seeing with the D. All right. So the Tari Turner. All right. Whoever the Tari Turner is connected. I hope I'm saying his name right. I am butchering his name. But whoever that guy is connected to, there's some fishiness about these connections. This this um partnerships here. Okay. And I feel like he introduced Jamie to them. Okay. There's something about that connection. There's something about partnerships, who I'm partnered with, with my, who my partner is partnered with. Something in that situation. Hmm. Remember I told y'all about sometimes you have 
sometimes you have things that come out, right? You have things that's coming out like a movie, uh, a show, a tour, a tour. I said tour, a tour, and you don't know that these things that you're, this opportunity that's coming to you, you don't know that there's some type of sacrificial lamb that comes with it, or you don't know that there is um, something you have to do to gain that momentum in life when it comes to the entertainment industry, when it comes to that. Um, so I feel like there's something going on with that partnership. There's some type of disagreement, not agreeing on location, um, not listening to each other, um, button heads and stuff like that. So I don't know what's his sign though. It could be an Aries. I'm kind of getting like Aries energy or like Aries energy. Okay, that makes sense if he's an Aries. Datari, right? So what's going on with Jamie and Datari? There's some type of worry here too with him because he has connected Jamie to some people and that way they were able to get some type of sponsorship or investment here. And he's worried about his investment here. I'm kind of seeing that. The investment from these people, because Jamie, Jamie is not in the right state of mind right now. I'm kind of getting that. Hmm. He's not in the right state of mind, or something is slow recovery here. Um, slow pace. I you know what I keep saying when I say slow pace, immediately it's like the room stops. And I'm seeing people holding hands, right? They're holding hands and it's almost like I'm seeing them from afar and they're all praying. So I don't know if it's, this is his father, uncle, um, Bishop, I don't know. I, you know, that's crazy, his last name is Bishop, but that makes sense. I feel like there are people surrounding him and prayer warriors. I'm seeing prayers. I'm seeing people going through the Bible and pulling out chapters in the Bible and reading them and praying about it, um, speaking firmly on his life. I'm actually seeing that. Um, it's like in a 360, I'm seeing it, right? And then as they're praying, I could see fire. I don't know why I'm seeing this, but I'm saying, whenever I read Jamie, I always get some fascinated stuff. <laughs> I'm seeing fire and um through the and I'm here so through the fire da -da 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 I'm hearing something like that. I think that was Chaka Khan. Okay. So, and then through this fire, this flame, it's like the flame is in the middle and they don't even know this flame is here because the prayer. And you see this bird just fly through the fire. Oh my God, I don't know I'm getting emotional, but this is kind of, okay. And I just see this bird, is a, is, it's a bird. It's a white, pure white bird. And there's an olive, I don't know if it's olive live on his mouth or olive branch. Huh. So immediately what I get from that is second chance in life to make things right. So I don't know what Jamie has been um, involved in in his past. Um, that this bird had to come through the fire. And there's no burn on this bird. Is it, is it only spirit or something? Or the bunny bush? <laughs> I'm kind of getting something like that. It's biblical. Um, so through the fire, through the fire. Okay. And this bird comes out with so much energy. I could feel the bird's energy from just looking at it. But I think the bird could see me. Um, I mean, if it's the only spirit, it could see me. Um, and so I see the bird going through each individual and just, it's almost like this, y'all won't believe me if I'm saying this, I'm saying this, but you don't have to, but this is just what I'm saying, my vision. 
The bird is literally taking that fire and going around circles of the people. So I won't be surprised if they feel like chills or they feel heat. Um, you know, like when you catch the Holy Spirit and it's like that bird takes that fire through his feet. But the fire is not burning the bird, though, because <laughs> it's not an ordinary bird. Duh. Um, and it's going around these people and just poof, fire around them. And they could be like, oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. I don't know. I just get something like that. And you could feel, I don't I don't know what this is, but it's almost like, it, it feels like earthquake, right? And it's just shaking up, shaking up, just shaking up. Like, <laughs> Phoenix, the rising phoenix, rising from the ashes. That's me. But remind me of the phoenix when it rises from the dead. It rises from the ashes. When they thought the phoenix couldn't rise anymore, they thought the phoenix was going to die. They thought that, oh, that okay, that makes sense, yeah. But it has a big wing and just. I mean, this is powerful. This is a very powerful reading. Um. And it's just going through the, like, that's what I'm hearing. That's through the fire. It's going through each individual and kind of reassurance of he's going to be okay. Um, there's a reassurance it's going to be okay. Now, would he be like he used to be? Would he be funny and charismatic? And the only time will tell, right? But right now, I feel like it's something. So something is taking action quickly and swiftly. That was stale and that was slow pacing. I don't know if because I'm doing this reading, this is happening. I, you know, because I feel like something has been slow pacing. And I feel like people have been sending their prayers to Jamie. I mean, there are some people that don't wish him well, but majority wins. I'm sorry. Like majority of the people praying for his recovery wins, not the people that are praying for his downfall because. The people that's praying for his well-being are far much more bigger. I actually see a crowd of people now. It went from a circle of people praying to a crowd of people praying. And God said, when two or more are guided, I am in the midst. So I'm just saying. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's victory. That's victory. I'm hearing something about victory here. Um, okay. And the Phoenix came to me. All right. So, <laughs> so I'm just saying, I'm just, don't be surprised. Stop going, ah! <laughs> Cindy, what's going on? I don't know. But yeah, that's that's kind of like, it's very powerful. Last time I did Jamie Reedy, the same thing. It's like I, I traveled into his mind and I was seeing some shit. Um, this time it's like, I'm, 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 I'm there. And um, did I pray for Jamie? I don't know if I prayed for Jamie. I think I did. Um, I'm not too sure. I think I did. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. I think I did. I'm not, I don't even remember stuff. Guys, listen, when I do these readings, I go about my day. I Listen, I don't remember nothing. I might remember because Spirit is reminding me of it, a certain parts to it. I don't be remembering that God don't thank child. Um, and I'm hearing hallelujah as, an, as I'm, I'm looking up as they're saying hallelujah. And then I saw something look like a Bitcoin or a golden coin. But as I'm, I'm looking, I'm saying hallelujah. And it's, you know, when you pray, I'm going to tell you something. This is why I tell people pray. Whether it's praying to your ancestors, whether it's praying to God, Messiah, Jehovah Nisi, El Shaddai, Jehovah Jireh, Elohim, Yahweh, Yahshua, however you want to, and Leo, however you want to see him as, whatever you see him or her as. You know, pray because I'm seeing their prayer literally lifting things up. No bull. And I see the prayers going. It's almost like the sky is not even blue. It's just open. And all you see is light. 
lights, like. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm getting excited. Let me calm down. <laughs> I'm getting too excited. Oh, you see, it's light. It's like, okay, so I just heard door to spirit, door to the Holy Trinity, door to Yahweh, door to Yahweh, door to Yahweh. That's 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 what I'm hearing. Yahweh. Yahweh. Um restoration. Restoration. Restore. Restore him. That's kind of like what I'm hearing. Restore him. Blessings from the heavens. Elevate. Elevate. Mind, body, and soul. Elevate. All right. That's kind of okay. I'm liking this. I like this energy. Mind, body, and soul. Elevate the Holy Trinity. Star of David. Um, Yahshua. 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 The divine power of God. Um, I don't want to say, I don't know if I should. Do you want me to say all these things? Um, <laughs> okay. So your prayer worked. Um, the prayer was answered. Um, I also feel like people that prayed for him is going to get something in return. I don't know what that means yet. Again, um, for those of you that lifted him up in your prayers, um, coming from a genuine space too. If your if your praise is coming from a genuine space, it's almost like. Damn, this is deep. This is deep. <laughs> it's like, how can I explain this? It's like looking to the sky, you seeing the rain of fire. And the rain of fire is going to every individual that prayed for him in the crowds of people. So don't be surprised you feel something and you're like, whoa. <laughs> you're like, what did I just feel? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> the power of Yahweh Yahshua, the Holy Trinity, the Holy, the Holy Grail, the holiness, holiness. All right? Because I keep seeing that triangle, but it's gold. It's not... gold and through the holy trinity i could see fire just fire i see fire <laughs> it reminds me of revelation the book of revelation um blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord um And I just heard God, I just heard God saying something, but I don't really know what he's saying, but his voice is so strong. Like, it's almost like when he speaks, like <laughs> the word is like this. <laughs> like, the whole earth is moving. Like, it's like, dang, okay. Um, Man, Jamie Foxx, you're a lucky dude, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna tell you this: you're a very lucky man. You're very lucky because you were supposed to die. You were not meant to live. Um, they, it kind of takes me back to the Pristillians, the Psalms, Pristillians and Fowlers and the Snares, you know. But then God says, you know, the wickedness. Let the wicked perish. I forgot what chapter in Psalms that is. You know, and, and, and it's taking me back to like 10,000 on my left and 1,000 on my right, but none will come, none will come near me. Um, you know, it's so many places I can go with this, but it all results to the same thing, which is like, you will win, okay? Um, you will win, you, you shall overcome. And I almost feel like 
God is kind of saying, it's crazy we're doing Jamie reading, but it's almost like it's a message for everybody <laughs> in this reading. It's kind of like God saying, um, I have never forgotten about you. I will never forget about you. I will never leave you behind. Because favor is in place. Okay, whatever that means for you, take it with you. I don't, I don't know what you want me to say. Um, remember who I am. Remember who you are. As I've told you in the beginning of time, that many shall come like me in sheep clothing, but they are wolves. Um, they are nothing like me. They are not me. You're like me. Um, you are all born in the image of thy, fa of thy father. So I think what he's trying to say with that, you know, they're speaking parables, but I think what they're trying to say with that is that I am within you. So if you are um, trying to seek me, it's within your core, the chai. Okay. And then it goes to the heart. The truth is also in the heart. If you're trying to seek me, Seek God first. That's kind of like what I'm hearing. Seek God first. The kingdom of God. Seek he first. Seek him first. Oh, I got chills when I said that. I got. <laughs> okay. You know, there are people that pretend to be connected to me. There are people that pretend to be me, but they are not me. You will know what I feel like when I come through you like fire. Ooh, that was deep. Okay, when I come through you like fire, then you will feel me. I would not cause you discomfort. I would not cause you pain when I come through you like fire. It would be like electrifying. Okay, you'd be electrified to the glory of God. You'll feel the truth from the shackles of your feet to the apex of your head. You will feel my power. May the wrath be upon those, those who chose the word of the wickedness, those who chose to be blind, those who chose to banish my words, those who use my words to their advantage, those who use my words for money, those who use my words for corruption, those who use my words to bring in demons to churches, those who speak ill of others. Ah. in my presence. So I, feel, I almost feel like I'm trying to come out of it because it's I'm in the realm, but I'm trying to do this reading. I can, I can do that, but it's kind of hard because it's like so... I feel like God is pissed about some people. Um, I'm going to just keep it real. I'm going to keep a thousand, a hundred thousand. I'm going to just keep... Let me put this card down. I feel like God is mad at some people here. Uh, in the entertainment industries, um, in the world itself, like he's just like, what is going on? You know, and it's kind of like it. It's kind of like you're worshiping. I almost want to say Satan. Okay. Um. It's like. You wear him like a costume. You, you you wear him like a costume, you know? And you pretend this is all a gimmick, but you're worshiping him. And you wonder why life is this way for you. When you have forgotten your father, you have forgotten Yahweh, Yahweh. You, his voice is so loud. I'm trying to, you have forgotten me. Um, I feel like I'm here to preach to someone today, I swear. I'm like, trying to, um, and then he's showing me pastors. He's showing me pastors. They have forgotten me. They have forgotten me. They have ripped Okay, let me try and shake it up. 
Okay, so so God is mad, y'all. Um, he's upset because you know he showed me these pastors, gospel singers too. I'm getting, I'm getting like gospel singers. I'm getting pastors. You know, I'm getting people that say they're going to church and. Uh, be of good to others and they're not. Um, I'm, I'm getting people pretending to be connected to the main source of God and they're not. I'm getting people who's using God's name um, to punish others. Um, I'm getting people who have, were chosen and they've misplaced their place on this earth. They've forgotten what they're supposed to do on this earth. They were supposed to send God's message out there and for people to receive it. That's why people go to church to receive the message and exercise that message, right? And it's like, but you got people coming in here asking for money. And I'm not talking about a little bit of money, a dollar here, five dollars. You got people asking for money, donate a thousand dollars. Donate, but none comes to me, says the Lord. Like they, they're using that money to do whatever they want to do. And there's a lot of corruption. I, I just see God destroying the temples. Now, it kind of reminds me of Simon Gomorrah. God, you know, I don't I don't know everything in the Bible. I'm, I'm trying. I'm, listen, I'm not righteous. I'm going to keep it real. God knows that. Like, I will always say I'm not a Christian because I'm not. I don't, I don't like religion. I don't like religion. That's what I don't like. But I'm still, I still believe in God. That's just what it is. Um, but he knows. We already had this conversation. So it's not about me. It's about what he wants to speak about. So I just feel like, remind me of um, Simon Good. I hope I'm saying this right, God, please, Yahweh. Hold on. Gomorrah, something with that. And um, he destroyed the temples. Okay. I don't know why I feel like God is saying this. Take it how you want to take it. Receive it how you want to receive it. I'm just going to give it to you. He's saying, hold on, he wants me to open the window. All right. So he's saying, put a cross on your door tonight. That's kind of like what I'm hearing. Put a cross mm -hmm. in your door tonight. Like take olive oil. I say use olive oil and put a cross on your door because he has to cleanse the city. I don't know what that means yet. Maybe he has to cleanse the world or something of his wickedness and people who have defiled his name. So I just, for those of you watching, you don't have to believe, but my moderator is your bell. Listen, um, put a cross sign on your doors tonight because something's going to happen tonight at 12 a.m. 12, 12. Okay. It could be 12, 12, 12 a.m. at the dot. But he said, I'm going to come like a thief in the night. Even when you think you see me coming, but you're not going to see me coming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um. <laughs> okay. So he wants me to tell y'all that. Okay. Um. Because there, there needs to be cleansing of the earth. People have lost their mind. They have lost their place. Um. But you're gonna see something change in the atmosphere, and you're gonna know. Something about Texas, the state of Texas, New York, Canada, something with those alignments there. Something is going on with fogs or with fire. <clears throat> hmm. So something is changing with that. Say no more.
And, and then I heard, do not dwell in the place of the wickedness of the world. What does a man gain when he sells his soul and gain the whole world? When he sells his soul and gain the whole world. Hmm. Okay. That's all he has to say right now. At least for now while I'm on here. And I just heard zap like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get back to Jamie Reilly. Sorry. Um, I was here for like 41 minutes. I'm trying. I'm trying. And I heard, keep praying. I heard, that's how God voice sounds. It sounds like, keep praying. Like, keep praying. <laughs> you keep saying that. I will send messages to you in form of animals so so if you've been seeing like animals come to you come into your home um just know okay but put that cross i'm gonna do my as soon as i get off here i usually do though um <clears throat> put that cross in front of your door from back the back side of the door put a cross on there um okay doors are very important Doors are very, they are the gateways. Oh. Oh. Okay. So let, let's, he's gone now. He's, I'm meaning like he's, okay. <clears throat> he wanted to use this opportunity to say that. And he said, thank you. You're welcome. He just grabbed my face. <laughs> okay. We love you. <laughs> I'm trying not to go crazy right now because the energy is something else, girl. <laughs> I'm trying, trying to stay my cool. Um, I relieve you. I relieve you. All right. I'm hearing this song, but I don't know what song it is. It's like heaven singing. Heaven is singing. Hmm. It looked like judgment day to me. If you ask me, it looked like the day of the rapture. <laughs> okay. I'm surprised it's not raining today. It's like the rain of the day of the rapture. Let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven. Let, oh, I, oh, I see rain now. It's coming down a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to show y'all. Y'all think I'm a good shit. Open the floodgates of heaven. Jamie, Mr. Eric Bishop, you done started a whole lot of song. Do not depart from me. I am great I am. Great that I am. I am that I am. Open the floodgates. You know, it kind of like takes me back to like, People go to church and forget it, forget about me. <laughs> like they go to church and they worship the pastor. They forget about me. <laughs> They're supposed to be my soldiers, <laughs> and they forget. People forget about me and say hell to the pastor. <laughs> okay. All right. The wages of sin is dead. Okay. So JB Fox comes from a very strong um deep family background. Should I say? 
sometimes when I do a reading, it opens up the gate for something to come in. Um, it shifts a gear, okay? Depend on who I'm reading on. I think that happened with a couple of people I read on where it's like their reading was like an eye opener. And it's like, whoa, I did not think that was going to come through that. And Jamie Foxx is one of those people. Not all the celebrities I read that happens with. It's some celebrities. Okay. So is Jamie Foxx going to get better? I kind of see him struggling a little bit, though. I see him struggling. Where they struggle to walk. And he, he, it's almost like he has an underlying enemy or like he has enemy that he didn't even know were enemies. Secret enemies that he didn't even know. That were enemies of his. Okay. So it's like. Take it for what it is. I feel like a lot of people need help and they go into church and it's like, not everybody, by the way, it's for some, and nothing changes because that church you're going to might not be the church for you, all right? There might be some things going on in that church that you don't even know about. I feel like when you go to church, Something should transform, okay, into good, okay? Um, something, as a pastor, you should always pray for your congregation. That's just me, personally. I just feel like you need to pray for your congregation before they leave. You know what I'm saying? That's what God sent you here, not just to give message, but also to bless those. Because you've been blessed to stand in front of the podium and talk to people. And these people believe in the word you're saying. So you have to pray for your congregation before they leave. So you call it the house of God? If it's really the house of God. All right? Gemini. Who's this Gemini energy here? So when I get Gemini energy, I don't know, something's coming up with Katie Holmes. I don't know. I'm getting like his twin too. I'm getting something with his twin. I don't know if his twin mm -hmm. is um, his sister that passed. Rest her soul. Um, there was deception in giving him some type of um, poke. Okay, there was deception with that. There was deception in um, something was in that poke that was meant to kill. You understand what I'm saying? Okay. That was meant to kill, not to live. Um, you know what I kind of get to? I kind of get like a laboratory or a lab where they create celebrity doubles or I just get a lab. Kind of remind me of that movie, I Frankenstein. Is it I Frankenstein? When there was this house and they had people, humans, and in incubators, and they had them connected to some type of um, cord that's kind of giving them oxygen or something like that. That's kind of like what I see when I look at this laboratory. I see that. Um, and they have names on them. It's everywhere. Huh. Meaning like it's occupying the whole lab. So it could be a, a, a place. And when I come out of it, it's like in the middle of nowhere. I, I don't know. It's in the middle of nowhere so that the eyes of humans cannot see it. Oh. No, it's not Area 51, it's another place. Okay, so I'm getting like, it, it's there's an underground. Something here leads to, when I say Area 51, 
I get like something there leads to an underground turn on, turn on, turn on. Hope I'm saying it right. Hope I'm saying that right. Okay, it leads to an underground turn on here. Something about that is like shady. That's that's why you can't. You can't, anybody cannot just go there. They're going to shoot first and ask questions. Later, they, they might kidnap and kill your ass. And nobody know what happened to you. Allegedly, all this is for entertainment purposes. And it's all <laughs> alleged. All right? But there's a turn on there. And it goes all the way even past to New York. I see something like all the way to New York. All right? Don't know. I don't know. This is just what I'm saying. Kind of remind me of, there comes a man in black, man in black. So kind of like men in black kind of situation. Yeah, you get what I'm trying. You get my drift. You get my drift. All right. So the daughter is feeling like... So the first house is speaking in terms of angels coming to the rescue, you know, God coming through, um, trying to help him, give him a second chance in life. Okay. And then the second house, which speaks about family and values here, uh, you know, um, finances and all that good stuff. It's talking about trying to be balanced out, trying to find your balance, trying to find your equilibrium. Okay. Um, Trying to stay firm to the ground. So something's going on with his legs. Um, but I see him like matching. So I don't know where he's matching to. Or he's practicing walk. Practicing walk. But I, I see him matching like without the walker, without the walk thing. So that tells me he's going to recover from that. But they were going to paralyze him or kill him all the way through. Um, but something was a, uh, it might look like an allergic reaction or like his body reacted the way the body reacted to it. Okay. See, that's why you don't know who's praying for who. You don't know who, where they come from, what type of family background they got going on, who is protecting them. You never know. Okay, so I feel like there's going to see there go the victory right here. Okay, victory, victory, victory. He's going to be successfully coming out of this superior. It's gonna take some time, but I feel like God is accelerating some things up here. Um, this would be a good time to ask for what you want and receive. Okay, um, four plus one is five. Today's the 14, correct? So four plus one is five, which is changes, changes. Okay. So I'm 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 kind of getting um, there could have been an endorsement or something here that ends because of his condition. Um, I feel like there was deception. We already, we already know that. Um, um, someone was trying to like not pay him his money or take some money from him or something like that. Um, I feel like someone was trying to dupe him. I also feel like something happened fast with that jab. Okay, that was fast. They did it fast or something happened quick. They could have even wanted him to come out and say something about it. Like, oh, get your get your shots or get the poke. I don't know why I'm seeing him wearing like a hospital, the hospital outfit they'll be giving you that's open in the back. And he's like, but he don't look too happy. I don't, I don't get like he was. He wanted it because maybe he knows something about the, that shit was not it. There was maybe spirits were trying to. Jamie, just get some activated charcoal, mix it with water and drink it. Like That's what they need to give him. I feel like activated charcoal with awakening some things within him. I almost feel like I need to tell his family, you need to put some activated charcoal. You need to um, take him a spiritual bath with holy water and holy oil and you need to uh bless his water put the activated charcoal in it one tablespoon mix it up and let him drink it i feel like something's going to be revived so I, if you're jimmy fox family aka eric bishop you should take this head now 
I'm only going to say it once. I'm not going to say it again. All right. So, yeah, because his system needs to be cleansed. His system needs to be cleansed. I also feel like there's a malnutrition. So y'all need to, if, if he's drinking from a straw, give him like fruits and vegetables. If you're tube feeding him, fruits and vegetables, purees. All right. I'm getting something with blueberry, apple, red apple, blueberry. Okay, kale, cucumber. Okay, you could even add um, what you call it. They showing me coconut water for hydration. So I yeah, there's some regimen y'all need to do because there's a malnutrition here. I think malnutrition is like if you're not getting the proper nutrition into your body system. I think. Do we have nurses here? Who are my nurses here? We have nurses. What is malnutrition? I think it's a lack of um, certain nutrients in your body. Does okay. So my nurses, I need y'all to speak up. <laughs> my doctors, I need y'all to speak up. My RNs. Okay, registered nurse. Come on, I come on through my medical people. All right, because I know in Nigeria, there's a lot of children that have kwashoko. Kwashoko is like when you have malnutrition. And, you know, um, they will consume a lot of rice with no vitamins, no other vitamins or no other um, nutrients. It was just rice. So they would look so skinny and their belly would look big. And you could see their bones, but their stomach looks big, right? That's malnutrition. That's kwashoko. Kwashoko. My Nigerians know what I'm talking about. All right, let's see. Victory is mine. Victory this today is mine. I tell Satan Victory today is mine. So I feel like people still love Jamie. People still want him to get better. People want him to. I feel like there's somebody doing something in secret here that he might not even. Um, Jamie, if I'm you, I won't trust Katie Holmes. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I know we want to trust us so bad. Um, I feel like stay away from that woman. Your ancestors are warning you. You could have thought that this was uh, a twin flame energy. Or you could have thought that, damn, you remind me of the reading I did yesterday for the collective in my I Am Storm. Damn. You could have thought this was a twin flame energy, but it was karmic. It was karmic. It was comic because as long as you're with this woman, you keep falling short or you keep falling into the rabbit hole or you keep falling into, you know, um, unfortunate circumstances. Don't know why I'm saying this, but there's a reason I'm saying it. OK. I feel like you're going to see the truth about someone that you probably didn't see before. OK, that's a sign of your spirit team saying no. Don't do it. Because somebody has been indoctrinated into something. I don't know if it's into Scientology. I don't know. And this person knows how to get to you. She knows what to say to you for you to just melt. I don't know what is about this person. Do you know Scientologists do magic, right? You guys know that, right? Okay. Just saying. What you say? I... Yeah, multivitamins are great, guys. Get multivitamins that have a great deal of zinc and vitamin C. Hold on, hold on. 
I keep saying biotin. Biotin? But I feel like zinc is important. Zinc. Z-I-N-C. B12. To get your vitamin, I got B12. Vi vitamin B12. Okay? <clears throat> Gives you energy. Natural energy. All right. So let's, let's look into this now. So he feels like he's fighting for his life to recover from this situation. Um, he feels like, I feel like his soul was fighting a lot. There was a lot of battle. There was a lot of battle um, when it comes to Jamie here. It's almost like I have to fight for everything. I have to fight for the woman I wanted to be with. I have to fight for my work. I have to fight um, to act, I have to fight to produce. Is that rain? Yep, that is rain. But I have to fight. Okay. Um, and, and it's like, he's not giving up. He's not giving up easy. He's not going to give up. Okay, he's going to keep fighting because he knows that there's something better at the end, in the end. Oh, you see how this man's standing? Almost like he can't catch his equilibrium. He's trying to like stand up straight, and he's holding on to something here while he's standing, right? And then you see him wrapped up in bandage. Correct? Yeah. And that is him because it's right underneath the King of um, Wands. That's Jamie. Okay, he used to be this guy. Now he's, he's looking like this. Okay. Um, I feel like people are coming against him, but it's like, nah. I, I, I keep wanting to say God is in control. Fear not, for I am God. That's kind of like the energy I'm getting. Fear not. So, this, so he's going to start to believe again. I, I don't know what that means for Jamie. Maybe he lost his way. Damn, I got chills when I said that. Maybe he lost his way. I just heard the um, alarm when it's about to rain. That's a sign. He lost his way and now he's trying to, gotta find my way back, way back to you. Gotta find my way back. He got to find his way back to God. I'm, this is kind of like what I'm getting. Because he lost his way. Okay, could he could have walked into something he wasn't supposed to walk into. Or seen something he wasn't supposed to see. Do something he ain't supposed to do. Okay. Um, and it's like somebody trying to shut him up or trying to shut him off. Okay, so it's like, and now he's looking at his investments. Like, he's, I ain't gonna lie, guys, he's looking at Katie Holmes with a side eye. Like, hmm, I don't know if I trust you. I don't even know if I should trust you. Did she adopt a baby or something like that? I don't know if she adopted a baby, but, or a child. I don't know. Okay. But he doesn't trust her. Or he's side eyeing her. Because something about Katie Holmes is off. I don't know what it is yet. I don't know what it is yet, guys. But it's something about her. She looks innocent and she's... <laughs> but it's something about her. That's creepy. Okay, so I feel like 
almost, I almost feel like he had an encounter with God himself. I swear, I feel like Jamie has had an encounter with God. Or he has had an encounter with spirits. Okay? Because of this. So is he going to walk again? Be Jamie Foxx again? Is he going to be the same Eric Bishop? Or is there something... Let me ask about his partnership. Hold on. How is the partnership with him and that Tari? The Tari? Isn't that crazy? He has the last name of Tina Turner, the Tari. The Tari Turner. How is it? Does the Tari Turner have anything to do with Jamie's um, unfortunate events? Does he have anything? Gotta find my way back, baby, to you, baby. The Tari is trying to make a decision if he should end things with Jamie. Like, I, I kind of see. What the fuck? Also, I feel like he feels like he has to do all the work on his, on his own. Something's going on with Jamie Foxx's eyes or maybe there's a blur or vision impairment, vision impairment. Maybe it's visually impaired. I don't know what that means yet. I think it's when you're like, your eyes is blur or you're having a hard time seeing clearly. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if this guy is doing business moves behind his back. Like making business moves behind his back. Okay. He's in his charming ways. He, he, he might feel like he's charming or, you know, he's alluring, he's good looking or something like that, uh, you know. Just maybe he feels like he's good looking or he knows he's good looking. I don't know. He's very charming when it comes to like getting what he wants. There's something fishy about him. I feel like something with money. I feel like what's the name? Claudette or Claudia? Claudia? Claudia knows that something about him is fishy when it comes to finances here. There are some things Claudia might know. I don't know her sign. I don't know if she's a Capricorn or um, what's the other one? Virgo Capricorn or Taurus or um, I don't know her sign. I don't know if she's an Aries too or a Sagittarius. I, I have no idea. But she might have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in a chart there somewhere. And when she was going through the reason, one of the reasons she went through a divorce with this guy is because he, something about fraud. He was a fraud, meaning like he was not who he acted as or who he showed her to be. You know, he wasn't who he claimed to be. Something about him is not true. Maybe his finances is not true. Well, all the stuff he claimed he had, he doesn't have. He has sponsors and investors. Huh. And it's almost, I feel like there could have been a block here. Maybe they're not talking anymore or they don't talk anymore. I feel like there's a distaste with him. Because Claudia coming up in this reading when I asked about um, 
Yeah, she didn't want any part of him anymore. She did not want it. She did not want it. She said, nope, we need to get a divorce. That's kind of like what I'm seeing here. Like the man you present yourself to be is not the same man that I found out you were. So I have to like cut this short, I have to end it. I can't do this. Um, I was happy that we married. So maybe they were married, I don't know. I was happy that we married. I don't know if she, if she suffered from um, miscarriage or something like that, I don't know. But it's like, I thought we were going to be happy. Death, okay? I thought we were going to be happy. And it's like, the, the way you came at me was not, what you promised me is not what it is. So there's something that, that Tara, that Tari is connected to that could have harmed Jamie. Now, I don't know what he's connected to now or who he's connected to. There's some people that he has business associations with. They could be from different countries. I don't know. Maybe they... They're from London or they're from, I don't know, Russia. I don't know. There's people from different countries that he's partnered with that could have had something to do with Jamie. Okay. If I'm Jamie, I will cut off that collaboration. Whether he knows or not, okay? I would I would cut it's some somebody he's tied to, some people he's tied to that Jamie feels like they don't want him to be a part of they don't want him to be a part of the project. Because the death card is next to him fighting for his life. Okay, they want it, there's people that wanted him dead. When the tire I put on the tire is this is what it's talking about. Trying to block him. Okay. Trying to sacrifice him. Trying to sacrifice him, but he didn't, he didn't, he disappointed them because he made it. <laughs> wow. There's people he this guy is entangled with, man. That's not good people. They're not good people. Some of them are not good people. They into some shit. I don't. I don't know if it's magic, spiritual shit, or and the bird just chirp. That's a sign. Look at that magician. The magician. That's a sign. That's a high priestess. Shut the fuck up. The magician and that. Yo, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, and I'm going to ask, does the coronation have anything to do with Jamie? I'm going to ask about that, too. The magician next to the high priestess? Bitch. Tyler. Does the, wow. So, what I'm kind of getting is like someone who does spiritual work. Okay. Several people at a time doing spiritual work. This is on the Tari end. I'm, I'm seeing like the people, the kind of people he associated himself with are people that's into some shit, spiritual stuff. Um, I don't know why I'm getting something with the heart stopping or him passing out. Something with heart stop and him passing out. Passing out. Because there was some type of spiritual work being done. And I feel like whoever this is, this guy Aries or Gemini, whoever this guy is connected to, man, they, they Scientology is involved too. I'm seeing Scientologists. So it's not just these people, it's other people too. 
trying to get spirit, do spiritual work. So Jamie knows who's after him. He knows who he knows. Because I feel like God has showed him through astral projection or through some type of um, spiritual travel here. It's like God has showed him some things. Wow. I also feel like that travel that he did, I don't know if they made him get that job when he was at um, UK, when he was at the, in the UK. I don't know if they forced him to get that shot or something. Hmm. Because it's speaking in terms of when he traveled. And he was being resistant to, to the shot. Shut the front door. And he was being resistant to the shot. And what happened was he was pressured in doing it. He knew intuitively not to take that jab or poke or whatever they want to call it. Okay? He knew intuitively not to do it because he knew there was some shady stuff involved in it. He might even think there was some, he said, people trying to kill me or somebody trying to kill me. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Like someone is trying to kill me or people are trying to kill me. And they're like, oh, he's crazy. He don't know what the hell he's talking about because he knew. He knew what the fuck he was talking about. He knew. He knew. And that's why he was trying to resist the poke or the shot or whatever. And they're like, if you don't do this, then you, you will have to leave. You can't shoot nothing here or something. Wow. And I feel like someone was sent to do that. And to make it a mandatory, I feel like when you travel to certain states or countries, you have to get that jab or you have to get a poke. Okay? You have to get that poke. Or they will enforce it on you. Because why didn't they make him take that at the airport? Or why didn't they make him? I can feel like something was shady about that. He didn't trust it. Because maybe he already had a sign that somebody was trying to kill him. Maybe he had a sign that somebody's trying to kill me. And maybe this was a way they were going to do it. I just don't trust it. I don't trust that vaccine. I don't trust what they're giving me. I don't trust it. There was something going on here. And he tried very hard to resist it. He tried. He put up a fight about that. Wow. And after he took it, boom, there he is. I feel like somebody did not want him there. They did not want him... Somebody was giving him a hard ass time. They did not want him there. Something was off. He should have used his intuition to leave. He should have left when he first, he should have left. They did not want him there. A cancer might not want him there. They did not want him there. They did not want him to be a part of that. Seen a cancer. A cancer does not agree with him being there. This is a cancer he has beef with, or a cancer that uh, he worked with in the past. But I feel like something is karmic with this cancer. It's a Caucasian male. And I feel like there was a woman there with Jamie. They were giving them such a hard time. I don't know. Is this woman a water sign? Is she a Scorpio or earth sign? What is Cameron Diaz sign again? Please somebody tell me. I want to know her sign. So, you know, the tarot was involved with these people. It could have been 
people that Jamie don't even fuck with. Could have been people that were underlining enemies. But to Datari, he's looking for sponsors and investors. You know, it kind of reminds me of that. What's that guy name? Weinstein. Weinstein. That big time producer or something like that. Kind of remind me of that. I wonder if Weinstein is one of his investors. I don't know. I feel like something's weird. All right, let me see. Did the coronation, did the coronation have anything to do with they use our own deity spiritual work on him while he needs to reverse it? Um, let me tell you. When you believe in the power of the work that your enemies are doing against you, what you're doing is injecting more energy into it. You have to be careful of what you believe in, you know, even with deities. Speaking of, you have to be careful of the deities you work with. You have to be careful of the, you know, the entities you work with, because if you're working with a deity or you're working with an entity and you're acting up for certain things, and they're not giving you what you're asking. It's, they're not the right people for you. Or you're working with a deity or you're working with an entity. And you say, okay, we're done working together. Thank you for everything. You could go now. Because you're able, when you're spiritual, you're able to work with the deities. And then say, okay, I don't want to work with them anymore. I've accomplished what I need to accomplish with them. Okay, you guys have a great time. Thank you so much. You know, I don't need you anymore. And that deity or entity refused to leave. That's not the right one for you, boo boo. They're not, they're not, they're just because they tell you they're from Africa or, you know what I'm saying? Like they're trending does not mean they're good for you or they're right for you. Not every trending entities, deities, because they trend a lot on TikTok, but not all. Deities, you got to be real careful of the kind of deities and entities you choose to work with and how much trust you put on them. Okay? Because it will transpire. You will see it. Okay? You could even test them and say, okay, I'm done working with you. Have a great day. Thank you so much for everything. But I don't need you anymore. And see what they do. Tell that, tell that deity. Okay, I don't want to work with you anymore. Have a great life. And see what they do. Okay, and, and see what happens. If they're going to leave or they're going to force their way back. <laughs> I'm not talking because I'm just talking. I'm talking out of experience, honey. So you, you have to be mindful. Okay. You have to be mindful. Focus on working with your ancestors from your from the highest timeline. Work with your ancestors that are high vibrational from the highest timeline. Okay, honor your ancestors. Work with your ancestors that are in the highest timeline. That means they're powerful. Okay? Don't go work with them because society is working with them. Because something about these deities have been corrupted. Do you understand what I'm saying? Some of them have been corrupted, meaning they have, they're working with, you know, like some of the celebrities are working with them. Some of this um, JP Morgan people, Rockefellers are working with them and they have tarnished them. Okay that now that they like low vibrational and the negative Nancy's. So when you have people, some of the celebrities using them and Rockefellers and JP Morgan, them, all these big names and, and rot something. I don't know. I just saw something R O T H or something like that. You gotta be careful. They've been corrupted. <laughs> they're not, they're not like you used to think they were. <laughs> They've been tarnished. They've been depleted. They're not high vib vibration anymore because the energy have been misused and misplaced. So when you work with them, 
there's an underlining unfortunate event. Okay. So you just gotta be mindful, man. I just tell people, listen, walk with your ancestors, yo, walk with your ancestors. You hear me? Do not put too much dependence on this entities and stuff. Believe in your power too. Believe in you. Believe in your power. Call upon your spiritual power in high dimensions. Call upon your power, man. Okay? Because some of them are not to be trusted. I'm telling you, beloved. I'm telling you. Out of experience, I know. I also find out when... Let me shut up. All right, let me see. Does the coronation have anything to do with um, Eric Bishop's sickness? Let's just say that. Uh, no, Antoinette is cool. I read one part of her comment, though. Yeah, I didn't. What did she say? Missing it. I can't say one name. <laughs> Didn't I just say, say something about the deities in the chat? Tell me validation all over this. Probably I, I validated what you were saying, but I probably didn't see what you said earlier. But I'm seeing this now. Yeah. But um, the coronation, who's the Scorpio? I think King Charles is a Scorpio. I did his reading on Patreon. I think he, he, was, he was a Scorpio, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think King Charles is Scorpio. All right. So King Charles was King Charles the Third, by the way, was conjuring something. Okay, he was doing spiritual work. He could have been using. Um, I think I also said this in my reading in the coronation on Patreon, where I said he was calling on his mother's energy. Ah, <gasps> uh, didn't somebody tell me that Queen Elizabeth allegedly, all alleged, Queen Elizabeth is a Sagittarius or something like that, if I'm not mistaken, or is she Aries? Hey, my aunt. You work with them all. Yes, Papa tribe, Miss Cindy. Yeah, yeah. You work with them all. What your ancestors? I hope it's your ancestors, girl, because you have to believe in your ultimate power. If if you find out who you are in the spiritual world, I guarantee you will be like, I don't need this goddamn DTs, goddamn it. I, <laughs> I'm telling you, <laughs> when you find out your true essence, okay. I feel like work with your ancestors and God. Like, just keep it simple. Stop working with, like, different, a lot of deities and stuff. Because then you get confused on who's fucking with you. Okay? And always ask, why am I always in a continuous battle? Okay? Because if, if you got deities around, you shouldn't be in no fucking continuous battle. Matter of fact, you should have been protected from those battles. And they shouldn't tell you about it after. They should, they should let you know after they've block that thing out. The spell work, whatever they, the, the, your enemies are doing, your opposers, block it out. They shouldn't tell you while it's happening. Oh, you know, such and such is doing work on you. And you go, go, go do work. And then come to find out it's the same motherfucker that came to tell you that such and such is doing work on you. It's the person that's creating that chaos. You got to be careful. Oh, okay. Okay, Antoinette, you're fine. You're cool. Just make sure. Believe in yourself more, man. Does the coronation have anything to do with Jamie Foxx? Yes. Spiritually. It affected him spiritually. What do I mean by that? Figure it out. All right. Damn, that car flew. The coronation. Okay. Scorpio coronation. Scorpio, coronation. Conjuring, okay? Conjuring, family business, okay? Conjuring, family home, the castle, okay? Conjuring, 
the work. This was a way of getting justice. I, I, you know, to me, the justice system is also like governmental, um, different countries, contractual agreement. Um, it's not just justified lawyer, but it's a contractual agreement here. Where there's spiritual contract, because you have the Ace of Sword, which is speaking in terms of whatever he was conjuring or whatever he was doing, okay, was kind of bringing him this justice. And the justice could be um, the coronation being successful, okay? Energy is being put into the coronation to increase the vibration of the work. Something was done during the full moon too. I think I got that when I did the reading on, the, on Patreon. During the full moon, I think it was the full moon of Sagittarius Scorpio. Tyler. Huh? I don't know what the hell. His voice is so deep. My, my phone fall up. I don't know what the hell he talking about. Okay. I'm also getting like officials. So I don't know if There were officials there. I don't know. I keep seeing people in uniform. Soldiers, officials, um, people in cloak, people in uniforms. Something about somebody in cloak. I think that was, that's the one they call the Dead Ripper. Something was being done. The reason why that guy walked by is ritualistic. He needed to walk by at a certain time. So if you guys go back and watch the video of that, you guys were calling it Dead Ripper. You guys needed to see that too. You think it wasn't done intentionally? Hell yeah, it was done intentionally. Da. <laughs> they wanted y'all to see. They wanted to break the internet. Okay. But it's ritualistic. Okay, it's it's very ritualistic here. Something here is very ritualistic with that. Okay, and Jamie Foxx was in the midst of it happening. So I wonder when Jamie Foxx traveled to Britain or UK, if it was before the coronation, right before the coronation or it was around the same time, May 6th, May 6th. So was Jamie Foxx there before May 6th? Was he there, was before April, ending of April? Was it in the middle of April towards the ending? Cause that would justify. And this is also telling me is the truth. So whatever I'm saying is the truth. Hmm. Yeah, because, okay, so this coronation, they use a lot of energy. I'm also feeling like during that day or before the day, prior to the day, there were deaths that happened. When did Tina Tana die again? Hold on. There were deaths that occurred, there were people getting sick in the UK, there were people dying in the UK or something about that is hap was happening. There were deaths. It was all part of the plan, it's part of the energy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I would not be surprised if Queen Elizabeth had Scorpio in her chart or Aries, kind of get that. Um, there was deaths, <laughs> you know, whatever work, King Charles did. I, I keep getting someone. He summoned someone's spirit. Okay, whatever spirit he uses, I don't give a damn, but that stuff was causing people to be sick. It, it caused a fog too in the atmosphere. There was something airy during that time too. How long am I? 135. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> I'm almost done.
There was something airy about that. Okay. So if you heard about, you know, celebrity that died around that time, children, also something about children dying around that time because of this energy, okay? Celebrities are powerful, so are children, the innocence of children. There's power in that um, because they're not indoctrinated yet or something like that. But something about UK was airy at that time. Something was foggy. Something was gloomy prior to. And something had to be done around that time. Something about time was important too. They needed certain amount of people to die. Or they needed certain amount of people to die. <laughs> Children, celebrities, up and coming celebrities. So I wonder what up and coming celebrities died during that time. And what children, I think there was a comedian that died too, a Caucasian comedian. I can't remember his name. I don't really know him that way, but he's been in movies. But there were some people that died for sure. Maybe some people got sick out of nowhere and just died. Because there was a, you heard the thunder? Y'all heard the thunder? Y'all heard the thunder. So to me, there was a portal open. There was a portal open. Maybe this is why Harry don't stay there no more. You know, there was a lot of things I said in that Patreon reading. And I was just like, what the fuck is this? Um... <laughs> What the hell? I was like, what am I reading? <laughs> what the? I had to cut that reading. I was like, I think I, I did that reading for like two hours. I had to remove myself, god damn it. It was not a good energy at all. Um, so yes, the coronation, was it intentional? Um, is intentional to the extent of we need certain celebrities to die or we need certain children to die allegedly? Um, but did they pick and choose who should die? That I don't know about. But did they want certain people to pass for this ritual? Yes. Is there sacrifice to this ritual? Yes. I don't know. I'm getting like Pope, something with Pope or Popes. Yes. Who died between the 6th and 23rd? Summertime. Yes. So I'm be surprised if the spirit of Queen Elizabeth came through the portal. Um, okay, I would not be surprised at all. Okay, because he, he conjured her spirits. There she is. She's the queen of um, wands. Okay. She's the queen of wands. Something with my algorithm. I don't know what they're doing with my algorithm, but I could tell you taking out numbers or the likes. I could I could see it. Um, yeah, but she he conjured her up. She's next to the seven of cups. So yes, he did. Okay, and that could have caused some debts. That could have caused some oppositions that could have caused restrictions, restrictions. 
um, they could have been strict with Jamie shooting a movie out there too during that time. They could have caused him a lot of problems. They could have, maybe Jamie felt the airy feeling and he was not himself. Like could have been cursing people out and just not was restless. And they had to hurry up and shoot some parts or something like that. I wonder if this movie is like wrapped up already. Back in action, right? They should have went somewhere else like Greece or somewhere else. They shouldn't, they shouldn't have shot it there. Just saying. The guy from The Wire. Okay, that makes sense. Who the guy, the one that had the scar like this, that goes like, I just saw the guy with a scar like this. He has a scar, right? I keep seeing him. He's showing me his scar. Is that a guy you're talking about? He got like a scar. He keeps showing me this. I don't know if this scar starts from here or there's a scar. Okay. Get me in trouble. Yeah, because you know YouTube, you know how they do. You know how they do. You say and then they be like, oh, I'll go read them. I'll go read them. Um, what was I asking there? <laughs> Is Jamie Fox going to talk again? Is he going to be himself again? Is he going to walk normal again? Um, oh, wait, let me ask about his daughter. What's going on with Jimmy Fox's daughter? I don't know her name. Maybe she's a water sign, but I don't know her name. Jimmy Fox's daughter. What's going on with that? Do the wire. Do the wire. Do the She's lost some offers. I don't, you know, maybe this offers has to do with the collaboration with her father here, and she's lost it. She's going to. She's been crying a lot too. She's been feeling sad. I don't know what's going on with Jamie Foxx's daughter. They always be nosy. I don't know what's going on with her. She. It's almost like she grieved him. Or she, she thought she lost him. She thought she lost her father. And she was worried about losing certain endorsements because she thought she lost her father. Because they have some things on the racks or they have some type of business that they're working together on. I'll be surprised if she went hermit mode or she probably thought her father died or he wasn't going to make it. And then now she's reunited with him again. He's alive. Okay. But something is, is was slow recovery or something is slow down. I don't know why I keep seeing this commercial. There's a commercial that I keep seeing and I'm going to say it. Something with a contract with this commercial too. There's something that they signed together and could have been affected or injected into the situation. I don't know if they, is it, is it T-Mobile? Is it Verizon? Is he a, is it a commercial with like um, electronics or something like that? What is it? It's something I have to do with devices and electronics. Um. <laughs> Somebody else from John Wick passed. Damn, y'all see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, children and celebrity was needed. Because when you become a star, there's power in your stardom. You dig what I'm saying? 
Yeah, they have a there's a contract they signed or something they signed here. That they're supposed to do together. I don't know if it's on TV. Um what commercial did they have together? I'm, I keep I, I can't I can't let go of this commercial. I'm sorry. It keeps coming back to haunt me. <laughs> the commercial keeps coming back, Chad. I'm like, what commercial? Was it Verizon? Is a device? Is electronics? It could be telephone teleport. Something with teleport, telephone, teleport. Is it 5G network? When I get 5G network, I automatically think phones. Not sure. If anyone know, drop, let me see. Is it? Because this keep ringing in my ear. Let me, hold on. Hold on. They go Nelly and Ashanti chilling. They having a good time. Um, did Jamie Jamie Fox commercial? Did he? Does he have a commercial with his daughter? Jamie Fox commercial. Yup, they go with with daughter. Hold on. Jamie Fox or a Korean with this. It's another ET exclusive. I want to hear you. There go the rain again. Okay, that just speaking in terms of a relationship. But yeah, they do have a commercial. But what kind of commercial is it? Intel Evo. What's that? What's Intel Evo? I don't know what I. Nobody's telling me about that. Six six kids are needed as well, allegedly. Yeah, Evo phone. That's a phone. Okay. There is some type of devices contract that is signed here, and it could have been a commercial. And whatever contract, that's why you got to make sure you pray before you sign any contract, child, because this is, is, is some of this contract be fucked up. See, Mercury, okay, Gemini energy, that's our Mercury energy. I'm telling you, devices, something with devices. But I do feel like God is restoring his faith here. Um, I feel like the angels are in alignment to help him heal. Um I feel like his, his daughter is really dependent on him. I don't know why she's dependent on him. Girl, why are you dependent on your father like that? Because it almost feels like without him, she can't move. Evil laptops. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I've never heard of evil in my life. Um, it's almost like without him, she can't do stuff or... Without him, maybe something is attached to his name. It's like once they find out, okay, you're Jamie's daughter. Okay, we could give you both this contract now. Almost like her leverage is dependent on her father's name or is dependent on who she's connected to or who her father is. It's crazy to me. You know, um, that's kind of like what it's given. Like if my dad don't make it, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't know if she's worried about money finances. Um, yes, her career, her success is dependent on her. Do they have a show together? I just saw a show. I don't know if it's a game show. I don't know if something was canceled to. But, or it's a game show, some type of game show. 
And I see her with like, Wavy hair or curly hair? I don't know if she has like wavy hair or curl with like highlights or she's going to change. I don't know if she's like, I don't know. I don't know. It's like curly hair with like highlights or something like that. Okay. Shazam, did it just come out with the movie? I just watched the movie yesterday. Shazam. No, day before I said I watched the movie. Shazam. Oh. Is it canceled? Because I feel like she's lost something here because of her dad's illness. Or she's not, she feel like, you know, if her dad is not well, then she lose this contract. They have different contracts tied in. <sighs> so she's concerned about that. Or she was concerned. Because this speaks in terms of collaboration, contracts together, collaborating with someone here. And he's a fire sign. And he has the world in his hand, meaning like his dad, her dad is popular. Okay. Um, he has a lot of things he has accomplished in his life too. And look at that bird flying over his head. Okay. Almost like a message coming through here. That kind of takes me back to that fire thing and the bird flying through the fire. Um, so yeah, she was worried about that. And I feel like there's been a lot of prayers that, um, brought him back. I wonder if she's a water sign. She a water sign? She cancer, Pisces sign or Gemini? I don't know her sign, but but she's you know she's very um, she was very worried about that. That was on her mind a lot. Is she a cancer Pisces? Because I wonder. Um, maybe she was lying about certain things or something that was hidden came out in the open blood clots. Okay. Um, blood clot. Okay. So maybe she was lying about ping pong. Pickle ball. Pickle. Pimp. I don't know what the hell that is. Listen, she was lying about something. Is health. She was, there's some exaggeration with his well being or how he's doing. And she should not, not said anything. She should just said, Thank you to everyone praying for my father. We appreciate you all. Thank you so much. That's it. I want to say shit. But I feel like she could have um, put her foot in the mouth. She put her foot in the mouth. And people start questioning if they could trust her. They're like, where's Jamie? People are looking for him. Where is Jamie? <laughs> so maybe Jamie's recovering in a facility, like some type of rehabilitation center or like um, a facility where they revive you back to health. I think I said that in the last reading too. I think, I think. So I feel like now that her father is awake, she's like, oh, thank God. Um, we, we're going to, because something important about her father. Is she the oldest child or something like that? Because they go lightning. Something is important about her father's signature or her father being with her present for her to make this business moves. Girl, you got to depend on yourself, girl. You know, you got to depend. She was very worried. Is she the oldest child? Is she the oldest child or something? Or one of the oldest? Is she the firstborn or something like that? Or is she like the oldest child? Okay. She could have been. Y'all got to be careful about taking these jabs or this poke. Y'all got to be careful. Look at the needle. Look at the poke. 
She was worried as a mug. So she's codependent on her father a lot. I wonder if she could sing or act because, girl, you need to look for other things to do, girl. Um, so you're not codependent is not healthy. She might have anxiety issues or like um, panic or anxiety. I'm getting something about anxiety or insomnia. Not able to sleep at night or fidgeting. It's a lot of concerns, worry. I could hear stuff. I'm hearing some things. But um, but it's like, oh, thank God, you know, the heavens give him another chance or whatever, give him another chance. Is she in a relationship? Is she? There's somebody she's with. I don't, she could be in a relationship or she's dating somebody here. Something's going on with her relationship. Whoever she's dating. She got to be a water sign. She got to be 77 and 77. Okay. So there's something going on within her relationship to a, her personal relationship with a guy or somebody else. There's something going on with that. Okay. Could be new love. Maybe people are going to find out about this. I don't know. But there's a relationship she's entangled in. Um, she worries too much. I'm, I'm sorry. She worries too much. Instead of worrying, pray. Meditate. Shit. Watch something to make you laugh. Take your mind off of it. Pray fast. Yeah, she has a hard time getting opportunities without her father. She has a hard time. Okay, she has a hard time getting opportunities without her father. She feels like if she don't have a father, it's going to be a struggle to get in. Girl, sometimes the things that you... How can I put this? Stop trying too hard. Because sometimes when you're trying to force certain destiny and the door is closed, accept it. Maybe that's not what you're meant to do. Maybe you're meant to find your own way, your own path. Because if you're so dependent on your father to get you where you need to get in life, honey, boo-boo, maybe that's not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing something else. Outside of your dad. <laughs> okay. You know, it's like there's a struggle here. And the struggle is she, she needs to believe in, her, in herself more. Okay, that's kind of like, because I get codependent. She needs to believe in herself more. What's her name? Corinne? Cor is it Corinne? Because I mean something with Corinne or... Does the name start with a C? Corinne? Corinne, you need to depend on yourself and believe in yourself, beloved. Believe in yourself more. Okay, believe. It starts with you believing. And maybe this is God's way or the universe way of telling you, you need to depend on you and not on your father. Damn. This is deep, okay? Something's going on in her relationship, she might. I don't know if they're going to break up or whatever this is. I feel like she's not balanced out for a while. She hasn't been balanced since this stuff happened to her father and she panicked. 
Okay, so give us some grace, guys. Don't crucify her. Just give us some grace. Because that stuff is, is causing a lot of anxiety. Okay? She's trying to be strong for her father. And she's been praying to, to restore his faith. And she maybe maybe the faith, she wants to be a star. Maybe she's a star already. And she needs to believe in herself more and know that she's a star. She's a star. You're a star, Corinne. Look, you're a star. So are you a water sign with Aquarius in your chart? What, what's going on? Okay. Maybe they have like a couple of businesses they got going on here. But you need to know thyself. Know you're a star. Okay. Maybe spirits are trying to get you to do something you used to do. Maybe you need to teach choreography. Choreographing. Choreograph. Maybe you need to choreograph something. I don't know what that, what they need you to choreograph, but maybe you need to get back to you, what you love to do, what you're passionate about. Maybe it's dancing in the rain or dancing and singing. Maybe something with artistry, with art. Okay. You're not too old. You need to get back to something. There's something the universe wants you to do here that you're negating. The universe wants you to get back to dancing or something with choreographing. Choreographing. And put it on TikTok or something like that. Whew, child, she got a lot going on, child. She has a lot going on in her mind, too. But she's in some type of relationship. Yes, my heart really goes out to her. Does she have is she in a relationship with somebody? How do I? Mm -hmm. It's finished. I'm still. How do I leave without you? Get through a night without you. Oh, wait. She used to dance for MC Hammer years ago until his boss got broken into. So my cousin knew of him. Okay. She need to. She need to go into acting. Singing, dancing, something with artistry on her own without her father's name attached to it. She needs to break free of that mentality. How do I live without you? What's the outcome of Jimmy? And I'm out. Can't do one night without. This was a deep reading today. I was not expecting that. And I want to know without you, the Holy Spirit. All right. So overflowing of abundance, um, abundance here, fulfillment, healing is taking place with Jamie. Oh, wow. He's still going to get opportunities. There's an opportunity for him to get well. She's coming out with a new show. Is it like acting? There's opportunities here. Because he has projects that he's working on. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. How, his daughter got some issues going on. I don't, I don't know. What the? I don't know. What she got going on? She got some issues going on. Yeah, I feel like something's going to take action. There's going to be action here to move things forward here. Swiftness. I'm also hearing swiftness. <clears throat> With swiftness. Something's going to happen with swiftness, with his recovery, so that he could get back. I also feel like he could be, yeah, they go to therapy again, the, the physical therapy where he's, I'm seeing him work out too. So I don't know if they're getting him to work out or they're going to get him to start working out because he's athletic. Something about Jamie's athletic, athletic, like he's in a, you know, he works out, you know. There were some delays and opposition. Um, 
what happened was that he needed to take a break, maybe four months break here. I feel like after four months, everything's going to clear out. So I don't know when his illness started. I think it started in April, April, May, June, July. So July, because the number four is showing up very strongly here. Okay, maybe by July, during the summertime, it's going to get better. Okay, he's going to have to do a lot of work. I feel like he might even move. There's a need for him to change location where he stays at now. He needs to move. Because somebody knows where he stays or somebody that tried to hurt him knows where he stays or somebody trying to, there could have been someone that followed him home or something about traffic stop or somebody followed him. Hmm. So there's a need for you to change locations. Jamie, if you're listening, change locations. Okay. Move out of that house. Get you, sell it, sell it and go get you another one. Get you another house or something. Yeah, somebody was following Jamie to his home or somebody followed him. Maybe he was trying to get away from that person or something like that. And I feel like he's going through an awakening too, where he's going to find out some things about the people he has around him. Okay. Who is he going to find out about? People that wanted him dead, someone he used to be with, or someone that was married, you know, people that planned against him to die. Something about an institution. They might have a clone of Jamie somewhere. I don't. They, they might have his clone hanging out somewhere. I don't know. Because I keep seeing this institution. Okay, I'm also seeing something about the police investigating. Investigation with police. Okay, some type of investigation is happening within this institution. Some type of institution here. I feel like he's, he's doing that on purpose by hiding out 777. He's doing that on purpose. I also saw 717. So he's doing that on purpose where he's like, if they find out he's in this facility, he moves. Because something is, because maybe they know people trying to kill him. I feel like someone's trying to finish the job. Wait. Hey, Papa. Tyler, you called him? You didn't call Jack? Hold on. Someone is trying to finish the job. Hey, Papa, how you slept? You slept good? Mm -hmm. Who woke you up? Jack did? Jack woke you up? Mm hmm? Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. No. Give me just a tiny little bit kiss. Kiss? No. I guess, child. Okay. You welcome um Antoinette. Antoinette, don't that sound like um there's a famous lady named Antoinette, isn't it? Like a famous lady. I don't know if she was a queen. Okay, let me move on. Maybe you're Asian. You just don't know that you're Asian. Um, so there's somebody that was trying to finish the job. Somebody could have followed Jamie and was trying to finish, extort him into something or trying to steal his money or trying to um, set him up. Papa, what? Yes. Relax for a second. Okay, I'm almost done. I've been I know I've been here for two hours. I'm hungry too, guys. I gotta go eat. When did this fire get this big? Girl, the fire. There go the Phoenix. 
So he's going to rise again from the ashes, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, okay? He's going to rise from the ashes. That's kind of like what that's giving me. Phoenix, you know, Phoenix is a very powerful animal, okay? So yeah, God is going to revive him. Um, when I see the arrow and I get God, I get the angels, okay? He could have lost his life though. I see here. There you go right there. And I'm here. You know what it reminds me of? It kind of reminds me. Oh, you stinky poo. You stinky. You party? Yeah. <laughs> Sound like you say, yup. So it kind of remind me of the story of Lazarus. You ever heard about that story of Lazarus in the Bible? Where after, I don't know if it was three days or four days, and God said, Lazarus, Lazarus, rise. Like, that's kind of like what I'm getting with this. So, yeah, he's going to get better. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> we do that together. You stinky? Yeah, that's how you do. You stinky. You stinky. <laughs> Why is he doing that, y'all? Yeah, he's, yeah. Okay, so he's going to rise again. And every bishop gonna rise again. All right. I don't know why I'm gonna see the sun card or God want me to pull out the sun card. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it instead of shuffling it to complete this reading. Oh, okay. All right, so bring out him. And then the sun card, he said, put it on top of him. Wow. Okay, hold on now. And I made Bullock. So put the song card on top of him. Let me hurry up. All right. There you go. Yep. Put it on top of him. And immediately when I did that, I felt it said put the Phoenix on top. Okay. I felt something. Uh -uh, don't touch that, Papa. You're going to get down. That's fire. You like that, that bracelet. I don't know why. Um, So I have done that. So immediately when I put the sun on his card as the king of wands, I felt something. So I'm going to leave that there like that. Um, Take the rest of the cards. I'll <laughs> leave it there. Okay, you know, that's, that's Jamie Foxx reading y'all. <laughs> so I heard completion, I heard completion. So I feel like he's going to um, be revived back to health. Okay, um, you know, he's going to be fine. He's going to be fine, guys. So those of you that were worried about him, don't worry. Um, God is in control of this. Um, I feel like there could have been people still doing work, trying to get him to not make it, but God's power is more. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not sorry, but. <laughs> it's, it's power is more, far more greater. That's why I was telling DC Young Fly, man, you better pray. You better pray. Pray. Like your mama taught you, pray like your daddy taught you, pray like your grandpa them taught you. Okay, prayers changes things, whether you believe it or not. It does. It shifts energies. It changes circumstances. Okay, it, it renews things. It revives things. It restores faith. So make sure you pray. Stay prayed up, guys. All right, I got to go. 
My son needs me now. All right. Thank you to everyone for being 72, 72. That's nine, nine, right? That's nine, nine. And then you put that together at 16, correct? Okay. And that's seven again. I'm on the money, child. I'm on the money train. Choo, 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 choo. All right. Wait, nine plus nine is, is it 16 or 18? I think it's 18. I think I might be wrong. Nine plus nine is 18. And then you add it. That's another nine. So what does nine mean? <laughs> On 19. <laughs> Papa, I'm coming. I just need you to stay down for a second. Okay, let me go. Okay, let me go. He's like, Mommy, you done. Get me off the ground. <laughs> All right. Okay, guys. Good night, y'all. Love y'all. Say, love you. Say, bye, bye. Do your hand. Come on. <laughs> You don't even want to give me a kiss. Go like this. Ah, he's acting like a baby. Oh, 